Welcome to the Next Level Facebook Ads Podcast with Phil Graham. We help you master Facebook ads and give you an unfair advantage over your competition. Are you ready? Let's go. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Next Level Facebook Ads Podcast, episode 283. I'm Phil Graham. Today, I'm going to be sharing nine Facebook and Instagram video ad mistakes that can cost you a fortune. You know, everybody knows how important and valuable video ads are, yet so many people are losing money on video ads. But fortunately, here's the good news. A lot of times it's their own fault. So in many cases, this can be fixed. So I'm really excited about what we're going to share in today's episode. And let's make sure you're not making these costly mistakes, my friends. So you know what's crazy, you guys? This is literally episode 283. It just blows my mind. That's a lot of episodes. And the reason I wanted to bring it up today is just to let you guys know I'm working on a solution to get all the episodes up on the website. As of right now, I think pretty much every podcast platform only carries the last 100 episodes, but that still leaves 183 that aren't available. So I want to make all those available to you guys because I record these each and every week, but there's so much good stuff, even from the past that is still just as important today as it was a few years ago. And of course, I got you covered with all the latest stuff with each episode. So I'll be letting you guys know when the website has all the episodes on there. But I just wanted to mention that. And 283 just, it blows my mind. I love this stuff. Also, heads up, Black Friday is next month. How crazy is that? This is super important for every type of business. A lot of people think it's just important for e-commerce. And it is. But it's just as important for local businesses or service businesses or people that sell courses or digital products or agencies. No matter what kind of business you have, no matter what kind of ads you run, the holiday season is a huge opportunity. And you should be leveraging that opportunity. And now is the time to be planting seeds to take advantage of that. So make sure that you guys are doing that. And if you guys do want some one-on-one coaching or you're looking for somebody to actually have ads done for you, you can always get in touch with me by going to philgramdigital.com or you can DM me on Instagram at philgramdigital and we can connect and see if it's a good fit. So let's jump right into the content. And as usual, we're going to keep this short, sweet, and full of value. And I want this to be very actionable for you guys because if you're making any of these nine mistakes, then there's a good chance you're losing money because of it. And these mistakes could literally mean the difference between you failing or succeeding, between you losing money or possibly making money. That's how important they are. And a lot of people are making many of these mistakes. You don't even want to be making one of these, much less multiples of these. So let's make sure that you're not. So we're going to start off with number one, and these are all specific to video ads. Number one is either not using captions or having incorrect captions. So here's the thing. When people watch video ads, usually about 80% of people who watch them have the sound off, at least initially. And if you don't have captions, you're not going to capture their attention in most cases, and they're just going to move on. So you've got to have captions. Don't ever run a video ad without captions. You always want to have it on there. Now, not having captions is a mistake, but also another mistake is just incorrect captions. So when you upload an ad, a video to Facebook, there's a section you can go into that automatically will caption your video. And we do that all the time. It's great. Here's the thing though. It's not perfect. A lot of times it can have mistakes and errors. And so you have to check that. It it makes it really easy to go through the video and check it and then correct any mistakes that they made. So we actually ran a video ad where it made a huge mistake. It was for a client and 
I can't remember exactly what it was supposed to say, but it was something at the end, like, come on in and we'll help you. But instead, the caption thought it said, come on in and we'll kill you. <laughs> so obviously, that's not what we were going for. Luckily, I caught that before the ad ever got published because I checked the captions. Had I just done the captions and published the ad, that would not have looked good. So make sure you're using captions. And number two, make sure the captions are correct. Okay, mistake number two is using bad thumbnails. You know, it's like books. A lot of people decide whether to find out more about a book just based off of the cover itself. Well, when people decide whether they might want to watch a video, thumbnails could mean the difference between them watching or not. And yes, in some scenarios it auto plays, but in others it doesn't. You want to have a great thumbnail. So make sure that you aren't just letting Facebook default to whatever thumbnail it wants to, because a lot of times, really most of the time, it doesn't automatically choose the best thumbnail. So make sure you're going in and choosing the thumbnail you want out of the options you have. And if it doesn't give you good options, you can even upload a custom thumbnail, even if it's not part of the video itself. So you should always be optimizing your thumbnails so it gets the most attention. Video mistake number three is having a boring start to your video, otherwise known as a boring introduction. So many people start off their videos with, hey, my name is so-and-so and I'm with this or I do this. Don't start your videos that way. People will just move on. They're not gonna watch it most of the time, especially if it's a cold audience. That's such a common way that causes people in many cases to fail because no matter how good your video is, if your start and your intro is super boring to people or it doesn't, you know, they feel like it doesn't apply to them, then they're not going to watch it. So don't start off with an introduction of who you are. Another common mistake when it comes to intros is sometimes people will do like a Facebook live and they'll just repurpose that as a video ad. That is not good in most cases. There is so much wasted time, especially at the beginning of those lives, that people are not going to sit there and just watch that as an ad in most cases. You do not want a boring intro. And a boring intro isn't just about your energy. It's what you say. It's both. Obviously, you shouldn't be having low, boring energy, but also you could have the most energy in the world. But if you're not talking about something that means something to whoever is watching the video, then that would be considered boring to them. So you don't want to make that mistake. Now, mistake number four is very similar to number three. It kind of is the solution to number three. But number four, another huge mistake people make is not having a hook at the beginning of their video. That is the solution, though, to having a boring intro. If you have a really good hook that actually appeals to and applies to the people viewing your video, then there is a very good chance they're going to want to watch the video and they're going to be engaged in it. And then great things can happen. So don't have a boring intro. Don't sit there and start off introducing yourself. Start off with a hook. And I've done episodes on what types of hooks you can use and should be using in your videos. So make sure and go back and listen if you're not sure, uh, or you can you know DM me with questions, but you wanna make sure you're starting off with a hook. A hook could be a question. It could be something that generates curiosity. It could be a statement you make about a problem that you solve that might be keeping somebody up at night. It depends on the type of videos you make, obviously, but no matter what kind of business you are, there's always ways to find a hook. It could be an entertainment hook. It could be a problem solving hook. It could be education. It could be so many things, but don't start off with, Hey, my name is so-and-so start off with a hook. And then after the hook, you can do the intro. Once the, you've got them hooked, once you've got their attention, and then you jump into the content and that will help you so much. Okay. Video mistake number five video ads that are way too long. Look, I love videos. I love long videos, short videos, 
And there's a time and place for all those things. But when it's an ad, especially to a cold audience, especially, but really to most people, when it's an ad, we always recommend never going more than 60 seconds. I, I, I shouldn't say never, but 99% of the time, we don't go more than 60 seconds on our video. The sweet spot for us has been like 30 to 60 seconds. That's it. So I want you to focus on keeping your videos short and focus on delivering value in an interesting and entertaining way. Don't make the mistake of doing these long videos that people who are just scrolling on Facebook or Instagram probably won't just sit there and watch. Mistake number six is video content that is not specific to a problem or an audience. This is so common. People will just try and create videos that apply to like everyone in the world and try and, you know, fix every problem in the world. Usually that's not going to work. There are exceptions and we do some of those broad types of videos too, just in case we still test them. But most of the time, the videos that work the best for us are videos that are specific to something, either to a problem we solve or an audience that we're targeting, or even better would be both in, in the same video, right? So you want to make sure your videos are specific. And we have like, I call them video plays. Like we have like 30 different video plays, different types of videos we can run and us versus them, a differentiation, a benefit video. Like we have all these types of different videos we can run. And these are like angles that we can apply to different videos. And I think like 28 out of the 30 are very specific to a problem or an audience or both. So don't make the mistake of having most of your videos just be general and not really, uh, not really applying to anyone because that's usually not going to work or certainly not very well compared to having specific videos. Okay, mistake number seven. This is one of the worst ones. It's also one of the most common mistakes I see. And that is videos that are self-serving. They're like vanity, ego, look at me, look how great I am, or look how great we are type of videos. Those videos suck. Most people hate that kind of crap. They don't care how great you say you are because 99% of the people that are saying that actually aren't. They're spammers. They're scammers. Even, even if you're the, the um, opposite of that, let's say you're legit. If you're just sitting there doing those types of videos, you're going to look like all those people anyway. You know what people care about? How you can help them and how you serve them. Not how great you are or what kind of car you drive or any of that other kind of crap. So please, please, please do not create these self-serving vanity videos because that is one of the biggest mistakes of the bunch. I mean, here's a perfect example. Imagine in life, somebody you know, and let's say this person, maybe they're a friend or somebody you, you just met, and all they talk about is how great they are. Are you really going to be spending much time with them? Is How, how quick is that going to get old? You know, you don't really care about that. In fact, it gets old really quick, doesn't it? Well, it's even worse in ads because it's not like anybody you know. So you're going to just skip over it most of the time, just like that. Don't make that mistake of running those ads because those vanity ads are horrible. Video mistake number eight is bad audio quality. And yes, you also don't want to have bad video quality, but people will put up with a background that's not that great way more than they will with audio that doesn't sound good. So you want to make sure that you have audio that sounds great when you're recording and doing video ads. And obviously you want to do everything you can to have the best possible backgrounds for your videos, but don't let that stop you. Great video ads can be made from anywhere. They can be made from in your home, in your bedroom, in your office, outside, wherever. But if you have bad audio, that is going to hurt you way more than a background that you may not love. So I always recommend 
whatever you're recording with, whether it's a phone or a camera, make sure that you use a third party mic that actually plugs into that device. Don't use the microphone that's part of that device because that is going to give you audio quality that is not very good. Like you can even get microphones that are lavalier mics that plug right into your phone and it's only like 15 or 20 bucks. So these are very inexpensive and they'll give you great audio quality. So don't make that mistake of having crappy audio on your video ads. And last but not least, video ad mistake number nine is having videos that are cut off in some placements. Like I've seen videos that maybe look good in one placement, but then if they're in another, maybe they're on mobile, your head gets cut off or something like that. You don't want to do that. Obviously, don't make that mistake. So you could shoot one video and just edit and crop based off of the placement, or you could shoot different videos. You could do a horizontal horizontal version and a vertical version. Sometimes we'll do specific videos just for reels and stories, and then we'll do the same or similar video, but we'll shoot it different. But the content is the same, and we'll have a different video for those placements. So there's many different ways to do it, but the key thing is just just to make sure you're checking. You can go in there and look and see how the videos look in each placement before you even publish the ad. A lot of people make this mistake and they run ads and they didn't even realize their videos are cut off. You don't want that to be you. So my friends, these nine mistakes are all simple and easy not to make. Yet most people make at least one and some people make all of these or a lot of these mistakes. Don't let that be you. Create great Facebook and Instagram video ads that get attention and do good things for your audience and for you. Create win-win situations. My friends, episode 283 is in the books. Thank you so much for listening. If you do want to get in touch, you can go to my website, philgramdigital.com, or you can DM me on Instagram at philgramdigital. I would love to hear from you. And I will talk to you on the next episode. Peace out. Thanks for listening to the Next Level Facebook Ads Podcast. Please remember to subscribe and share this with all your friends. For show notes, more tips, and to learn more about Phil, please visit philgramdigital.com slash podcast.